So in this project, we will be making the ultimate automatic pencil sharpener. Some may also call it the pencil destroyer. The way the pencil sharpener will work is in one end, we will have the sharpener fixed and in the other end, we will have the pencil rotating and moving to the left towards the sharpener. This way, when the pencil reaches the sharpener, the pencil will be sharpened as long as the machine keeps going to the left. And the rubbish will be collected by a container below. So we have two main motions we need to think about. The linear motion of the pencil back and forward and the rotation of the pencil. Let's first go over the linear motion of the pencil. We can achieve this by using a threaded rod like this one with a knot. So if we hold the knot and rotate the rod, we can see that the knot moves back and forward depending on the direction we spin the rod. But of course, we don't want to spin the rod manually using our hand. So for that, we can use a motor, more specifically, a stepper motor. Now, before moving on, we need a place to attach the stepper motor and everything else and hold it in place. For that, we'll be using a wooden board. Let's first start by fixing the stepper motor into the wooden board. To do that, I use these wooden insert nuts, which you can screw into the wood and it will then give you M4 bolts. They're really great. Once the stepper motor is attached, we can then attach the threaded rod to it. But as you can see, we need to support the rod on the other side. To do that, we can use a rod support with a bearing like this one. So now, when the stepper motor rotates, the nut moves back and forward. However, we need a way to attach things to this nut. So I made this 3D printed part, which you can attach to the nut, which gives us a nice platform on top to attach whatever we want to. And now when the stepper motor rotates, the whole of the platform moves. But there is a problem. On the other side, it's just dragging on the wooden board and we don't want that. To fix this, we can use a smooth rod attached to the side of the platform like this. And now when it rotates, it moves with no issues and we have a nice platform to attach anything to. This way it is modular as we can change what moves back and forward very easily just by changing what we attach to it without changing anything else. This can be used for many other things. So if you have any ideas of what else this may be useful, let me know in the comments. While we're here, remember to subscribe and like the video if you're enjoying the video so far. And that's how we can achieve the linear motion we wanted. Now for the rotation of the pencil, we can simply use a DC motor like this one, attach a pencil to it using a 3D printed part and a coupler, and then this way, when the motor turns, the pencil will turn as well. Very simple. We need a way to attach this to the moving platform. So I made this part, which has a housing for the DC motor to go into. And this can then be attached to the top of the platform using four bolts, two on top and two at the bottom. So now we have both motions in place, the linear motion, which allows us to go back and forward and the rotation of the pencil. So now what is left is the other side, which holds the sharpener in place and the container for the rubbish. We need the sharpener to be in the same level as the pencil. For this, we need a platform to raise it. Another part is used for this, which is attached to the wooden board using four bolts. This part not only contains a modular platform on top like the other side, but also has a nice place for the container to slide in and out from, where the container is held in place using two magnets. To hold the sharpener in place, I use this part where the sharpener is held in place by a tight fit with a slide for the rubbish to slide on. To attach the sharpener part to the fixed platform, insert nuts are used, but this time they are for plastic rather than the wooden ones previously used. These are simply melted into the plastic, which can then take M3 bolts. So attaching the sharpener housing to the platform using the bolts, this side is also now done. Now the pencil sharpener is pretty much completed. The right side is sorted, which is the side that moves left and right and has the rotating pencil. And the left side is completed, which holds the sharpener and stays fixed. We now just need to sort out the electronics. I first created a breadboard version for testing. For the controls, we just need a switch to turn it on and off and two buttons to make it go left and right. 
This potentimeter is only used to change the speed of the stepper motor, to fine tune it, to find the appropriate speed so the pencil doesn't move too fast towards the sharpener. Once everything was confirmed and ensured everything worked properly, I created a stripboard version for a more permanent solution and to have a small footprint. All the wiring, components and code can be found in the description below. For the housing of the wiring, I made this part which is attached to the wooden board using four bolts. The stripboard lives there and it also has these cutouts to allow wires to go in and out of the housing. It is closed off with a lid on top which also holds the two buttons and a switch for easy access. And that right there is pretty much the project fully completed. Now for the final demo of this project, we first start off by attaching a pencil to the DC motor, switch it on and use the left button to start moving left towards the sharpener. Once reached, we can see that the pencil gets annihilated and the rubbish slides down nicely into the container. We can then stop and bring the pencil back or just continue and completely destroy and finish the pencil. And that right there is the project completed. Again, all the details and information you need to create this yourself is in the video description. Now this of course is not actually meant to be used as a regular pencil sharpener. However, it's a great project to do and learn from. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. I have many more projects planned which you don't want to miss. Let me know in the comments if you have any new project ideas you want me to do. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next project.